Hi, welcome to the 11th tutorial, tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Scientific Linux and Oracle VirtualBox. In this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, run HPL over Torque to show you how the a basic Torque job file looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is create or compile an mpeg library or an mpeg program that can be shared over all of the nodes. So as root, just go back to your home folder and then change into mpeg. Um, create a directory so make there slash exports slash mpeg2 and then dot slash configure minus minus prefix equals slash exports slash mpeg2 okay let that configuration run okay configure is done so just sorry do a make clean this should be quick and then make I'm just gonna pause the video again Okay, when make is done, just make install. This should be a quick one as well. Okay. Now, if you remember correctly, we can't submit a job to the queue as a root user. So I'm going to copy, just cd first, copy h, no, hpl, uh, the tarf, tarball to home me. So I'm just going to copy it into my own home directory and then su no, before that uh, chown minus all me me slash home me okay so now just su into me and cd. So now the hpl should be there so just this Extract that. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, I installed um, Atlas on the head node as an alternative to go to Blast. It's easier to compile. You just yum install Atlas and that should do it. So we're just going to need to do the same on the um, compute nodes as well. But more of that in a second. Let's just cd into HPL and cp setup make dot Linux uh, PII C plus. I'm going to copy the GM one um, this time. So just copy that back, and then let's open it. Okay, so. Up there is nothing, here is nothing, here is where the settings start. So HPL minus 2.1. Next page, MPI dir is exports slash mp2, uh, yeah, just like that. Then this should be minus capital I slash exports slash mp2 slash include. This should then be slash export slash mp2 slash lib slash lib mp dot so. Okay, let's go down again. This la dir changes to slash usr slash uh, lib64 slash atlas and then these two just change the a dot dot to dot so dot three and for this one as well dot so dot three three okay let's go down again nothing there nothing there then the compilers oh. we change to slash 
exports slash mpeg two slash bin slash and then just copy this into this okay so now we should be able to make this without a problem arc equals make dot linux and then just remove the make okay so it actually made successfully so I'm going to copy the executables so cp bin linux into the home folder and then cd there okay I'm going to ssh into node 0, 01 as root and then quickly yum install atlas minus y remember before trying to compile the uh, HPL program you actually need to have atlas already installed on your head node just need to do an IP tables flush quickly and then try that again I'm just going to pause this video and then resume after I've installed the second node's uh, atlas. And the atlas is done installing, so just exit and then switch back to me and cd back to home directory. Now before we start we want to see if the HPL actually runs correctly, just one last time. So I'm going to touch a nodes file and then echo node zero one into nodes again and then just node zero two ah oops okay show how the file should look in a second so just clear cut Okay, that's what the file should look like. It doesn't really matter in what order they are. The uh, MPI picks uh, the nodes in a random order. So we will just run exports mpeg2 bin mpi run minus n equals 4 minus machine file is nodes and then just run xhpl okay it seems to be running correctly now to make the act the pbs submit file i'm going to touch hpl dot pbs and oh, from hpl dot pbs the first thing we need to do is specify the job name so that's Hash capitals PBS minus N minus N capital N HPL and then hash PBS minus N HPL dot error dot out uh hash pbs minus oh sorry made a mistake here this should be minus o minus e hpl dot er hash pbs minus l okay this is where your node specifications come in so we're going to use two nodes each with two processors per node and our wall time this is the amount of time Dork will allow the program to execute before killing the program we'll set that to 0 hours 
10 minutes 0 seconds and then I have this in for some reason I'm not really sure if it's necessary 1 2 3 4 5 PBS minus V okay then we have to change the directory to the actual folder we are executing it from so PBS capital O underscore worker and then we need to create a nodes file for the nodes that dork specifies the job is allowed to use so PBS underscore node file pipe this into sort minus u into node list now we just execute xhpl again so it's exports slash mpg to slash bin slash mpi run minus n equals 4 minus machine file is now the node list that we are creating there and then just dot xhpl um, I'm going to have this echo out into hpl.test so let's see how well that works then qsub hpl.bbs and do stat. I'm going to watch this file for a second just to make sure it's actually running correctly and it looks like it is. Oh no it well maybe it finished so out here we should see HPL nope, HPL dot test um, yeah hpl.test okay and it looks like hpl actually executed correctly it would just finished extremely quickly so I'm going to remove this hpl.test file and then in hpl. once I get the correct file dot that I'm going to increase the problem size of this one to a thousand and then just resubmit the job okay there it should be running now you'll see it's using two nodes and four processors uh, the time running is zero hours all oh, the wall time sorry is zero hours ten minutes and zero zero and the time running is zero hours zero minutes and 21 seconds now. If we submit another job, you'll see that it gets queued until this one is finished or deleted. Okay, now I'm going to uh, modify the HPL file a bit to show the properties that we set for the nodes. Uh, HPL.pbs I'm going to change this to one node but I'm going to specify that we need uh, the GMP libraries to execute the program now this should still work fine I'm just going to let this echo into node list 1 and have this one use node list 1 how far are these jobs? Okay, I'm just going to delete both jobs. So just QDL4, QDL3, minus A. Okay. Okay, so now that we have the modified HPL.BBS file, I'm going to remove the HPL.test file. What am I doing? Okay. And then run HPL. Uh, submit the HPL job again HPL dot PBS now you'll see it's using 
one node and two processors. And if I bring up Ganglia here, okay, there's Ganglia, you'll see that 10.0.0.2 is currently being used while the other nodes are idle. If I submit the job again, and then queue that again, you'll see that the job is queued because even though node 2 is free according to, um, to Torque, it doesn't have the necessary resources to run this job. If I were to edit the hpl.pbs file and say that it should use the GPU property, then it will run only on node 2 and not on node 1. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.